Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the serious uh, tall cactus plants we've got and also a, bit of a little bit of an update about them and happy to say that today I have one of my Trichocereus scopolicola cactus plants in beautiful uh, bud there at the back. Unfortunately, because this is in our little greenhouse, we have the, the big polyton, we have two little greenhouses, and it's facing uh, the direction where the sun is, which obviously is covered by the green covering. I can't get to show you from the front, but I'm gonna, well, in this video, I'm gonna link lots of videos of when I've had my Trichocereus plants in flowers. So you'll see how amazing the flowers are, and I'll link the videos the links up above and also down below in the video description but uh, happy to say one of my trochocera scopolicolas is blooming beautiful there at the back and good to see that this so late in the year in the autumn of the fall time to have so you know to see the blooms which is so wonderful there and uh, as I say, I have a collection of trichocereus mostly um, scopolicola and pachanoi there as well commonly known as the san pedro cactus and lots of different types of varieties of hybrids of different types of trochocereus um pachanois as well and uh, here we have patricereus there and other different varieties as well and cleistocactus oreocereus here more trochocereus pachanoi many many different types all at the back as well and uh, if you want to see a better, obviously a better video of this Trichocereus uh, scopolicola and also Trichocereus pachanoi in flower, then links up above to um, videos on when these beautiful Trichocereus flower and also links down below in the video description. Um, just want to show you these here. We also have more in our other little little greenhouse here. We have um, Euphorbia there and Pylocereus, lots of different types. This one. Uh, Pylocereus patriclaudus was blooming beautiful a few weeks ago with a huge gorgeous bloom on it as well so also link that down below in the video description so you can see what they look like when they're blooming lots of different varieties and then here in our yard we have a few different types of very tall serious type of cacti this one here is um, Brasilia puncha brasiliensis and it, this is amazing because it has sort of wavy um, pad segments that look like little wavy leaves full of uh, spines obviously uh, very amazing but that's part of the Apuntia the prickly pear family and then we have other sort of trichocereus um, there and another big huge pilocereus here big twin one massive it's about about seven feet high it's huge and this very big trichocereus here in the middle this one here is a uh, one that Hans my my wonderful fiance has grown from seed about 48 years ago it's almost as old as me and it is huge this has not ever flowered for us but you never know hopefully one day in the future this one here is my very large trichocereus um, pachanoi and this one here I've had for absolutely years this again is probably about almost well it's well over probably almost six foot high in fact it is probably about six foot high and this has flowered many many times uh, for me over the past past few years hasn't flowered this year which is a bit of a shame but it does flower most years and if you want to see this when it was in multiple magnificent bloom then links up above to a video and also down below in the video description of when this was in absolutely multiple bloom it's absolutely gorgeous guys and I just stand back so you can see the, uh, the size of this, it is absolutely huge. And uh, here, Stenocactus turbary as well there, commonly known as the organ pipe cactus. I'm gonna show you the big tall ones we've got in the polytunnel. Now, this is our big polytunnel where we keep all of the, uh, the majority of the cacti and uh, other type of succulents as well in here. And we keep these, uh, these three big ones here. We have, this is a, uh, Pachycereus pringlii and this is over five foot high it's actually a bit taller than me and very very large old plant there we also have some Pachycereus pringlii little seedlings and uh, some smaller plants as well and then this is another big tall Pylocereus here that Hans has grown from seed as well huge uh, some little tiny I'm going to show you the little seedlings in a minute of Trichocereus that we've got here these are the tall ones as well, another Pachycereus pingli and also Cleistocactus there. 
and I'm going to show you some of our little seedlings of our other sort of trichocereus type of plants there that we've grown from seed. All little cuties, very very nice and uh, that's a bit of an update on some of our tall serious type of cacti and as I say, do check out the playlists of um, all of the other ones we've got that have been blooming beautiful before in the past and happy to see the lovely bloom on the um, on the other one in the little Meecher sort of mini greenhouses we've got here as I say can't really take the bloom from that angle because a bit difficult <laughs> but hopefully um, you'll get to see the other videos to see how beautiful it is so guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell for lots more almost daily videos on cacti and succulents. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.